What's up everyone? We're going to be getting a level 3 treasure chest today using the Griffin and uh, I thought it was pretty fitting to put it up on a Monday because it's kind of a minimalist theme. In case you're not aware of how this combo works, Grounded has put out a couple of videos on the concept. I have done so as well, but if you have not watched any of them, basically the premise is getting a early level 3 griffin and you can do that using a couple of different methods one of which you will see in the video and then selling it to hopefully get a level 3 tier 6 unit hopefully earlier than turn 11 because that's where you usually start finding the tier 6 units but uh, yeah we're going to be going about this by getting a level 3 guinea pig and uh, ironically enough we actually do level up into a griffin but we don't really need it because the way we are going to be getting the griffin is by using fountain of youth on this guinea pig unfortunately here we did not hit the unit that we wanted to hit we hit a swan instead which is still not bad as you can see it is carrying us to a victory plus giving us some extra gold on this turn but ideally we want to fountain of youth into either a spider or a salt here we find a robin which is not what we want so we go again and it is transformed back into a guinea pig so hopefully uh, or not hopefully but uh, likely we are going to be losing on this turn as you can see right here by our polling going for a summon build but we are just one fountain of youth away from getting exactly what we want we have this thought once again but we do still have gold remaining so hopefully we get another one and indeed we do uh, Robin once again this time it seems like we are cycling through the same three to four units over and over which is a little bit unfortunate but we do have the goal to spare for another fountain of youth and finally we get this toad cell into a griffin so we could have gotten this like earlier at least for this toad but the level 3 griffin I think was the earliest possible opportunity for which it could have come to us so yeah i think we did pretty well there the only thing left for us to do is hopefully not lose by the time we get the treasure chest which uh, for now it's not looking super likely as we lose this round but we have a pretty good foundation we have multiple camels and camel is one of those units that can absolutely destroy an opponent especially if you put a garlic on it but uh, yeah, we also level up into a deer, which is another great unit that you can have because most of the uh, pets on the opponent are not going to have five or more attacks. So they're not going to be one shot in the bus. Here, unfortunately, that was not the case. And uh, with the bad mat on top, we end up losing once again. But I think we are on the cusp of stabilizing as we get a level two camel in the shop on this turn. So we're going to take it getting a kappa plus a cow i could have gone for the kappa because we're going for like kind of a summon centered build with the deer but cow is also pretty good when you have a level 2 camel so here we go we have a stacked camel on turn 7 the dragonfly is going to continue buffing it and hopefully now it will not get one shot instead it got two shot which is not much better but at least we did get to clean up with the bus so yeah, we are one turn away from the treasure chest spawning and we have two hearts. So that means we are definitely getting the tier 6 unit that we need. All that's left for us to do is hopefully get a good tier 6 level 3 unit and then we can carry on to the victory from there. And uh, with the secretary bird plus the deer, I think we have a very good foundation for hopefully getting a strong summon pet. And you'll see right here we get a Spinosaurus. So level 3 tier 6 Spinosaurus on turn 9. Uh, usually not for, intended for you to have this so early on. But we do indeed have it. And uh, we're going to be using it pretty well. I think at the time I had stacked the pack for summon pets. So we should have a lot of very decent hits to find hopefully. Even in tier 6. Unfortunately here we level up into a Leviathan plus Lioness. Uh, both of these units by the way could have been also great hits from the treasure chest. Could have won us the game by themselves. But uh, alas we got a Spinosaurus instead and we have to find a way to use it somehow. 
I could potentially pick up this parrot in the shop but I chose not to, instead we are going to get a level 2 deer and hopefully level up into another decent summon pet. And actually we do get a pretty good selection right here with the saber tooth plus the uh, what do you call this I was going to call it a spinosaurus but I think it's a pteranodon. Whatever the case though our team is looking actually incredible all of a sudden and I think now we can snowball to the victory. Our opponent running a jump build and I believe this was from the newest patch of the game where the frogman was buffed. They were not running that though for some reason. Whatever the case though, let's try to level up some of the units we have on the team starting with the Sabertooth. Sabertooth plus Spinosaurus plus Secretary Bird, a great combo and we have one new summoner in this pack as well, that being the Cerberus. I have actually done a 5 of a kind of this unit but I am very happy to say that even outside of 5 of a kinds it is super strong, especially in summon builds. And you can see right here the amount of buffs that the Cerberus plus the deer were able to generate and give to the uh, Sabertooth was actually pretty nuts. So yeah, on turn 11 now we have a mushroom available to us. I think I also have like a cornucopia in this pack as well to hopefully snatch a good perk from other packs uh, that I can put on some of my units. Something like a melon. Uh, what else could be good like pancakes maybe I don't know but uh, yeah we we even need it I guess if we're not going up against snipe teams I don't think we will as we go up against a big static team with a snake and uh, it looks kind of scary there for a second because this snake has such good accuracy but as it turns out a level 3 spinosaurus giving plus 9 plus 6 on every feint is actually too much for them to handle. So yeah, what will we do now? I guess we can pick up another Cerberus or we can get the Spinosaurus up to level 3 or not the Spinosaurus the Sabertooth for some reason I'm messing up the names quite a lot today but whatever the case let's hop into another battle we go up against MCWG who is the renowned versus player I think they're considered to be pretty good but uh, we end up destroying them anyway because we have a level 3 Spinosaurus way earlier than we are supposed to have this. So yeah, we are almost at the victory, we have only 2 trophies left to go as we get some protection for our Spinosaurus and our Sabertooth and uh, we should be able to win easily from here even against Snipes. So let's see how we do. We go up against a fellow summon team but they only have a shark when it comes to scaling. They did manage to very luckily spawn a Spinosaurus but I don't think that will be enough for them as we claim the victory once again. And yeah this is going to be the final turn. I don't know if you really consider this a minimalist build because we are not using like uh, only 2 or only 3 pets instead we are using the full 5 pets that are available to us but instead we have relatively low stats which uh, I think I would consider to be minimalist but yeah this is going to be the run we're going to combine the Cerberus and put another deer onto the team and uh, call it a day so I really hope you enjoyed this run and if you did I hope that you like sub do all the generic stuff and I will talk to you next time take care